Apollo 7 Houston. We have you go for orbit here. Go for orbit. Calling all space cadets. Gemini 12, Gemini 12, Houston standing by. Houston, roger. Do you remember this? <laughs> Two thousand and one, the dawn of a new era. But how did this messy state of affairs come about? We want to let her. We want to let her. Ta 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 ta. So bold, so beautiful, so inspiring. The dome. <laughs> that it embodies at once <laughs> the spirit of confidence <laughs> and adventure in Britain <laughs> and the spirit of the future. What a load of fun. The Dome may have been Britain's biggest joke, but on New Year's Eve there was a chance for final salvation. They were hosting Odyssey 2001, England's biggest dance event. From the ministry, he got a lovely head like the dome. This event is themed around um, Space Odyssey 2001. Nothing to do with the fact we wanted to theme it around space, but Stanley Kubrick was often at the Ministry of Sound, uh, completely losing his mind, fucked on ecstasy, ah! allegedly. I and my company, we hate you. I am fun. <laughs> I feel like I've been anally abused. You have been raping and buggering dance music for far too long. <laughs> Any girl who wants to get on her hands and knees with me is all right, <laughs> Michael. Glenn and Jay, the two world dance nutters from South London. <laughs> Jay, um, you know, I mean, you're, you're talking about a guy that used to do ballet. Could you take that away from me until I tell you you can film me again? Glenn used to have a flower shop. He likes to do a bit of arranging and stuff like that. It's my fucking money, right? There's a sort of psychopathic tendency to both <laughs> of them, um, which, which can be worrying. Here comes Mark Riddell, creative director and uh, director of lies. <laughs> so, you know, they're quite passive guys. And I'll tell you what, he'd give it to me last night. I'd have come around and punch his lights out. <laughs> Back in August 2000, the Ministry got together with the World Dance Space Cowboys Jay and Glenn to launch their most ambitious UK project to date, somehow managing to charm that funny French bloke PY, head of the dome. We walked into PY's office and said, with the Ministry of Sound, please could we have 20,000 lunatics going crazy in the dome on your last night? I think we expected to be shown the door of the dome, but actually, uh, he was really up for it. It's all about making it fun and sexy. Speak to anyone that, was, uh, that works for the Dome that was at last New Year's Eve party and I think they'll tell you there was a load of old farts there. At Mission Control, it's all systems go. Gareth Cook is head of promotions, in charge of booking the talent and shaping what to expect on the night. It won't be an informative day out for kids to do, you know, projects on. It'll be just a fucking nutty night out. The big night promised some of the biggest stars from House, Trance, UK Garage and Drum and Bass. In the lineup, Oakenfold, Artful Dodger, Dream Team and DJ Rap. Do you know that bad girls go to hell? I don't know about this space thing. I mean, I, it definitely will influence my set. So I'll probably start off with some sort of spacey thing. Do you know what I mean? Maybe the actual Space Odyssey tune itself. And I, but I've also made some special tunes for that night. So just exclusive one-off little thing that I made in my studio, which uh, you'll have to wait and see. I don't know about the clothes thing, though. I mean, I was thinking of getting miniature Millennium Domes and sticking them like over various parts of various said body. Lovely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell what it's me now. Are you ready? Meet four clubbing girls from North London who'll be going to the Dome on a garage mission. Are you ready? You ready? Are you ready, ready London? First sounds of the awful Georgia. Oh, doing it again and again. Get up, get up, get out, tell your friends. Oh, with a blend and a mix-up, chopping up across the fader. Hiya, 
I'm Emma. <laughs> I'm Anna. I'm Katie. And we are SpaceX. We've known about this for a long time. Known about New Year's Eve coming up and everything. It's going to be a big <laughs> one. I'm Garage Girls. Thank you. Yeah. Love it. Love Art Dodger. Dodger. Um, we'll be in there for his set, definitely. I just want to have a memorable New Year's <laughs> Because of the notoriety of the Dome, there is a lot of press interest, with millions of pounds in media coverage. This is a particularly nice shot, not necessarily because of the perspective of the Dome in the background, this is the tyres, but you can just see Busy's Alan Wickers here, they're just pointing through there, which I suppose could have been worse, really, couldn't it? Things are starting to hot up. Down on the street, Glenn's in charge of publicising the event, one of his few sidelines, as London's godfather of fly posting. I am the dog's bollocks when it comes to putting up posters. I could go to work in a dinner suit and I'd still be clean because I ate shit. 